Hello and welcome to SaysPinguinos.com tutorials. Today we're going to learn how to make a Native American flute out of paper. This is what it sounds like. To make the flute, we're going to need a ruler, a pencil, a magazine cover. Now we want one of these kind of glossy magazine covers. They're the best, this plastified paper. We need a cork, a pair of scissors, a knife, and some sticky tape. The first thing we're going to do is to cut off the cover of the magazine. And here I have the cover. I'm just going to tidy this up a bit. The next thing I'm going to do is to roll this up, okay? So I'm going to roll this up as much as possible and I keep rolling it, keep rolling, keep rolling it until the cork fits inside, okay? I want it to be the same size as the cork. I want this to be quite a tight fit, okay? So I check it that side, I check it this side, it's a pretty good fit, okay? And now I want to stick this together. Okay. Now I should have prepared the tape before, it would be a lot easier. But since I didn't, I will do it now. So I got some sticky tape and it could be a tiny bit tighter. Perfect. And then I am going to stick that down like that. Okay. And I'm going to stick this down all the way the length of the flute. I could play it like a neigh. Okay. And it works. Quite a lot of tape there. Perfect. So the cork would fit in there and I now have the basis to my flute. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to measure more or less one centimeter from the top to here. Okay and then mm, let's say three centimeters along here and I want this to be a centimeter wide more or less. So leaving a, a centimeter, approximately a centimeter here, this is approximately three centimeters, and I have to try and cut out this triangle as perfectly as possible. Now, if you have a paper cutter, it is better. I'm using a kitchen knife. Okay, so we now have cut there in the middle. Um, next, I'm going to take this cork, the part that fits in there, and I'm going to cut what would be a third of this. So if this is three centimeters long, I want to cut a one centimeter bit of cork. So I cut the cork, try to make the cut as good as possible, and I'm going to put the cork inside end of the tube. It's a bit tight. Hope it's not too tight. Okay. So I get the cork there and I'm going to push it through. Okay. Leaving a little bit there, a little bit here. Now, when we got that far, the idea is here, that when I blow through here, the air will go over there and hit this corner. Now, this isn't very sharp, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna cut a bit of tape to make this edge sharper. 
So I'm going to cut a bit of tape like that. Stick this tape there. Use the pencil. Stick it there. And then I'm going to pull it down there. And I have to make sure the tape is very well stuck. Still a bit of it there. Take the cork out. Okay, and the tape is stuck down well. And that's a that's now a slightly sharper edge. So anyway, I put the cork back in. You'll notice that in the cork, um, where this has been the bottle, it's slightly more compressed. I want the slightly more compressed side on the outside. And the slightly wider part inside. Okay, there we are. I push that back into position. Okay, so there we have it. I get back the magazine and I'm going to cut out a little rectangle. I'm going to use this rectangle. This is a bit too wide, so I'm going to make it. going to use this rectangle to cover the hole like this. Okay, so I'm going to put that round like that and now when I blow that is now sounding like a flute. So I'm going to need a bit of tape. I put this cardboard round like that and I stick it. Okay, you might have to move this backwards or forward until you get the sound that you want. You might also want to just move the cork back slightly. Okay, but there you have the basis of a paper flute. Now, the holes, where do you want the holes? Mm, the first hole probably, I'm going to say almost three centimeters from the bottom. I'm going to make a hole. Now, making the hole is hard. So we want it to be as Okay. And it's, does that work? Okay. Not perfect. Perhaps I should have done that a bit higher up. I'm going to leave a centimeter and a half. And make the next hole here. Okay. I'm not measuring the scale here. I'm just doing this by sight. Okay, I can use the pencil to make the holes a bit bigger. If the flute doesn't sound, then it's just a matter of altering here, pushing it down or up. It should be more or less, there should be a one centimeter gap here, more or less. You should be able to fit the scissors underneath there. Okay. So this is the flute. Sometimes you do have to alter the end here just to get the tune. If you see it right now, if I blow it's not making a sound.
that's it, I've got the right place. Okay, so you do have to sometimes play around. Being a paper flute, it does get wet. When it gets wet, the paper deteriorates and it gets more difficult to play. But anyway, it is quite difficult to tune well because the position of the holes will depend on the exact position of the, the fipple of the mouthpiece. But this is what it sounds like. <laughs> 